Steve here with Allied RPG. Today's monster manual feature is the Kylopodax, a particularly nasty little beast. As always, like and subscribe. Kylopodax, plural and singular, are venomous arthropods roughly one foot or 0.3 meters long with multiple sets of legs and two inch or five centimeter fangs. They are egg layers with a lifespan of two years. Kylopodax are endemic to nearly all temperate areas throughout New Hinterland. As the story goes, the Kylopodax came about when a poisonous centipede hitched a ride through a portal in the pocket of a dark mage. Now, this pregnant female centipede gave birth, and when the hatchlings came out, they fed on the arcane magic of the dark mage, and here we are. Had it not been a pregnant female, and had it not been a dark mage, Maybe we wouldn't have the problem of the Kylopodax. Kylopodax venom is among the strongest of neurotoxins. Pure calibri juice is the only known natural cure. The creature's fangs can penetrate leather and can slip through links in chainmail. A bite from a Kylopodax can leave a victim paralyzed within 10 minutes. Sensory nerves, including pain receptors, are unfortunately left intact. The Kylopodax has a nasty habit of eating its prey alive. It's got a special coagulant in its saliva that keeps the victim from bleeding to death. So it usually takes about 15 days for a single Kylopodax to eat an entire adult human body. However, they're usually in groups, so it usually reduces that time to mere hours. This special saliva from the Calopodax can be used to stop even the most severe bleeding. Special farming operations have been set up on the outskirts of the Iridian Desert, where these creatures tend to be a bit smaller and less aggressive than their temperate climate brothers. The juvenile Calopodax are defanged and milked daily for their saliva, yielding roughly 0.1 ounce or 3 ml, and a single 2 ounce or 60 ml vial sells on the open market for a week's wages in gold. Despite their voracious tendencies, Kylopodax can survive without food, air, or water for very long periods of time. This leads some people to speculate that they will be one of the few remaining species after a nuclear fallout. And strict precautions are in place so that they don't get transferred from one continent or world to another. Taking a quick look at the stat blocks, the Kylopodax has a target of seven, so it's not that terribly difficult to hit. Hit points are only three, so if you hit it, it most likely will die. Again, they do travel in groups. The damage that it does is medium, of course, the fangs. It's venomous, aggressive, swarming, and inhabits primarily temperate climates. Its main action is paralysis, so if you get bitten, you roll a 1d20 over two, and in that many rounds, your character becomes completely immobile. The only cure, again, is Calibri juice or magic. So there you have the Kylopodax, another classic monster in the Owlet RPG world. I will be putting the link to the Facebook post where that PDF will be available for you. So please go check that out. As always, please like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and may your dice always roll with advantage.